There are a lot of people out there looking for workers these days, including the New York State Board of Elections, which needs people to run polling places this year. Remember, we have a primary election in June and then, of course, the general election in November. The governor's race is the big one on that ballot. Now, in order to run elections smoothly, you need a lot of poll workers. So what better time to talk about that than today because it is National Poll Worker Recruitment Day. John Conklin is spokesperson for the New York State Board of Elections, and he joins me live right now. John, it is great to have you on. Uh, I don't think it's going to surprise anybody to hear that the pandemic has affected, you know, the voting operation just like everything else. It's also, I'm sure, uh, affected your ability to find people to work these polls. At the same time, you know, you hear these reports of some of the difficulties that poll workers have faced due to the kind of polarizing politics that we've been going through. Um, assess for us right now how, how difficult it is to find those poll workers. Well, thank you very much, Michael, for having me on. It's, it's, it's an important topic. So uh, the, the U.S. Election Assistance Commission and a bunch of uh, state authorities declared today National Poll Worker Recruitment Day. It's kind of early in the year, but there's a number of states that have early primaries. That's why it's so early. So um, I, I, in New York State, we have uh, approximately a need for 90,000 plus poll workers in a year like this, where, as you said, we have a, a large primary and a, and a big general election. The, like you said, all the statewide offices, including the U.S. Senate, will be up this year, plus the entire state legislature and the House of Representatives. So when we need 90,000 plus poll workers, that's, that's a big task. And, you know, the state stepped up two years ago in 2020 when we had a similar year uh, and, and we were able to get over 92,000 poll workers appointed. So it, it's clear that when 55% um, of your poll worker population are over the age of 60, that uh, you know the pandemic plays some role in, in people choosing to be poll workers. I think we did demonstrate over the last three election cycles that we do run safe and clean elections from the pandemic standpoint. Uh, so people should not be afraid, but there's no question that it's a concern for those poll workers in that age group. Um, and uh, from 2020, there were many, many stories I read about people who did step up, who saw that, who recognized that when they go to the, the polls, the people that they see there are, you know, many of them have gray hair uh, and they realize that a lot of those people have concerns about it. And they said, well, wait a minute, this is a civic duty or responsibility and someone needs to step up to take the place of those folks so they don't have to come out. And we are able to run efficient and safe and accurate um, and, and, and good, fair elections. And, and we think that happened. But we still need to do these exercises and promote the idea of poll workers so we, we need people to cut, uh, they can go to our website at the state, which is elections.ny.gov. Uh, there's a banner across the top of the page that will, if they click on that, it'll take them right to our poll worker page. It explains what you, you need to do to be a poll worker. There's a little video explaining uh, how poll working works, what your responsibilities are as a poll worker, the fact that you get paid for every day that you work, including training days. Uh, you know, since early voting was implemented, we need people on election day, which, as you said, is June 28th for the primary, November 8th for the general. But before both of those elections, there's nine days of early voting. So we're voting 20 days a year, not just two anymore. So we definitely need have a greater need for poll workers in that time period. Um, so uh, that, that's why we, we need an exercise like this. So you can contact yeah. us at the state or you can go to your county board as well. And certainly everybody's hoping that you have a repeat of 2020 and that, that you get enough of those workers. But I think people might be wondering what happens if you don't? I mean, what what is the impact of not having proper staffing at all of these, you know, thousands and thousands of polling places? Well, in 2020, Governor Cuomo stated that he would bring out the National Guard to assist uh, in operating poll sites. I don't think that was necessarily a welcome addition to our poll sites. We don't necessarily want people walking around with guns or uh, uh, having something like that in our poll sites. And, and that was avoided, thankfully. So um, I, I, we're, we'll, we'll see what happens. We, we have contingency plans in place to deal with that, um, but hopefully we, we will not have to do that. 
And just again to remind everyone, elections.ny.gov is the State Board of Elections website. We also have, you know, eight counties here in Western New York where you can also uh, sign up to do this. And, you know, there are so many people I think um, or I've heard from them who are surprised to learn that poll workers do get paid. A lot of people think it's some kind of volunteer work, um, but you're going to get compensated. And I know that you need the workers. John Conklin is the director of public information for the State Board of Elections. Uh, you're right. It is an important topic. And, and thanks for talking to us about it. Thanks very much, Michael. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. And that's going to do it for today's town hall. We thank you, everybody, for joining us.